hey 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 everyone welcome in welcome back to the channel so before i get started um yuki is in full bark mode right now so if you hear him barking in the background just totally ignore him it's very windy outside and with everything that blows or whatever noise that gets made um he barks at it so just totally ignore him because if I don't do this video, it'll never get done because it's been windy for the past two days and he's just going to keep doing it. So we're just going to move on because I will never get this video out if I don't just do it. So today we're going to talk about our um, next step in the color palette challenge. We are doing number two. Here are the colors which I think are showing up a little bit different on camera. They're not um, as vibrant. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if that is my camera itself or what. But anyway, here are the colors. Um, these are the color names that Sarah Renee Clark is using. Um, but I went and I... Pick the colors for Prismacolor. So here they are. And I'm just going to show you, you know, um, this now. This is like part zero where I show you guys the colors, the page we're doing, and talk about the challenge itself. So there's the colors for Prismacolor that I went with and the colors for Poly. Now, of course, you guys can choose the colors that you feel like best match these you don't have to go with what I choose this is just what I thought was the best match and here it is for Holbein and light fast and if if you notice some of them I couldn't find colors that were close enough for me to put anything down for um, that goes the same for the Pablo's I couldn't find anything for those two that made sense and then of course the Ohuhu's and for this challenge you can use any color pencil medium all you're doing is picking colors a light a medium and a dark color so the colors you see here would be the base color or the meat or the middle color so you would need a light and a dark version of each one of these colors as well as a pencil color that matches these so that's all you're doing when you are choosing your colors let me show you guys the page. It was a tie between um, Labyrinth and what was the other one? I think Dream Garden. And since I've been itching to color in this one, I just broke the tie myself and chose this one. And the page we are going with is this one here. The bull page that's holding the cube on his back. It's like a maze cube or something. So this is the page we will be coloring using this color palette here. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but that's the fun part. And, of course, grays, blacks, and skin tones you can bring into the picture as well. They don't count towards the color palette. So you can bring in grays, blacks, whites, skin tones those are okay um, because as you can see there are people so you would need some skin tones they're very tiny but you know um, you can bring in some grays you know I like to use grays sometimes for shading and shadows so uh, grays are fine blacks are fine whites is fine you can use any medium um, you can bring in stickles metallics whatever you so choose and if you are coloring along with me I do have a special giveaway contest for people who are coloring along with me and who post their finished pages on the Facebook group or Instagram. My Facebook group and my Instagram is always down in the description at the bottom of all my videos and live streams. You just go to the description. They're both there. Um, use the hashtag bubbles coloring challenge. That way I can find your finished pages a bit faster. And it's just going to be um, once once I finish my page, I'll give everyone a week to 
um, post theirs. And so by the time I start the third one, everybody should be done and posted. And then before we start the third one, I will pull a random name from the people who post it on Instagram and Facebook and there will be a prize. So anyone who wants to join in, feel free. Use the hashtag bubbles coloring challenge and the page has to be finished and you could post it on the Facebook group or Instagram. If you're posting it on Instagram, please make sure you tag me and you use the hashtag bubbles coloring challenge. If you don't tag me and you don't use the hashtag, I'm not going to see it and it won't count. So if it's easier, join the Facebook group. That way, all you have to do is post it there and use the hashtag. You don't have to tag me because I'm going to automatically see it when you post it in the Facebook group. Um, so this is the page we're doing anyway. And um, part one, we should I should have up. It's going to be a regular upload. It's not going to be a live stream this time. So don't look for the live stream. Um, it's going to be a regular upload. I will start it probably this week. Ooh. Excuse me. I'll probably start it this week. Um, we'll do part one. And we'll go from there. And yeah, so again, this is in Mythographic Library. Labyrinth, I'm sorry. And we're doing color palette number two from Sarah Renee Clark's. And if you don't have her um, color catalog, you can get it from her website. That's her website there. No, I'm not sponsored. No, she didn't ask me to do this. Um, this is just something I want to do for myself. But I am using her um, color catalog to do my challenge. So I felt that it would be nice to at least show her website. She has the digital version and she has the physical version, which is the little cubes. Um, this worksheet is my worksheet that I make myself and you can find this on my Etsy or if you are a Patreon member you get all of my digital downloads for free so you can find this amongst others over on my Patreon if you are a Patreon member otherwise Etsy and those two are also always down in the description as well so that's all I wanted I wanted to come on um, announce the challenge show you guys the book the page the colors that I have set up I wanted to talk a little bit about the giveaway contest so I will see you guys in the next video where we actually start the challenge all right guys see ya bye